today. I am Michelle P. Condino, your speaker for today. On this video, we will talk about the theory of insight learning by Wolfgang Kohler. The theory of insight learning was first proposed by German-American psychologist and one of the founders of Gestalt Psychology named Wolfgang Kohler. Insight learning is among various methods of behavioral learning process which is a fundamental aspect of behavioral psychology. Wolfgang Kohler gained fame with his studies on cognitive processing involved in problem solving by animals. His test in Tenerife using chimpanzees suggested that these animals can solve problems by understanding just like human beings. Kohler decided upon use of chimpanzees because of their brains. He believed that he would likely be able to observe human traits from them. What is insight learning? Insight learning is the sudden realization of the solution to any problem without repeated trials or continuous practices. Insight learning is not the result of trial and error, responding to an environmental stimulus, or the result of observing someone else attempting the problem. It is a completely cognitive experience that requires the ability to visualize the problem and the solution internally, in the mind's eye, so to speak, before initiating a behavioral response. Contrary to the strict theories of behaviorism, Insight learning by Wolfgang Kohler suggests that we learn not only by conditioning, but also by cognitive processes that cannot be directly observed. There are five factors that can influence the insight. First is experience, intelligence, learning situation, initial efforts or trial and error, and then repetition and generalization. First, Let's talk about the experience. Past experiences help in formulating insightful solution for the problem. For example, a child cannot write words without practicing writing the alphabet. Next example, a student cannot solve equations without experiencing solving basic math. With that, Experience is a factor that can influence the insight of a person. Second, we have intelligence. Insightful solution depends upon the basic intelligence of the learner. The more intelligent the individual is, the greater will be his insight. Next, we have learning situation. How insightfully the person will react depends upon the situation in which he has to act. Some situations are more favorable than the others, for insightful solution has a common observation. Insight occurs when the learning solution is so arranged that all the necessary aspects are open for observations. Next is initial efforts or trial and error. Insightful learning has to pass for the process of trial and error, whatever an activity may be. Attempts, efforts, and trials are always lie as its roots. For example, a child cannot master writing his name without practicing it many times. <music> Lastly, we have repetition and generalization. After having an insightful solution to a particular type of problem, the person tries to repeat it in another situation. This way, the person can practice formulating different solutions to a particular problem. Thus, repeating and generalizing the problem is a factor affecting the insight of a person. And now, let's talk about how the insight learning 
was experimented. In order to establish the existence of insight, Kohler conducted a number of experiments on a chimpanzee named Sultan, although he conducted a number of other experiments on dogs, hens, and other creatures. His experiment with Sultan was the most noteworthy. He described his experiments with apes, where the apes could use boxes and sticks as tools to solve problems. In the box problem, a banana is attached to the top of a chimpanzee's cage. The banana is out of reach, but can be reached by climbing a pan and jumping from a box. Only one of Kohler's apes, named Sultan, could solve this problem. In second experiment, the task was made a little bit difficult that one box could not be sufficient. So they put some boxes into the cage. The chimpanzee got the idea and set those boxes into some specific pattern to reach the hanging banana. A much more difficult problem involved the stacking of boxes. This problem required the apes to stack one box on another and master gravitational problems by building a stable stack. Kohler gave the apes sticks which they used to rake food into the cage. Sultan, his very intelligent ape, was able to master a two-stick problem by inserting one stick into the end of the other in order to reach the food. In each of these problems, the important aspect of learning was not reinforcement, but the coordination of thinking to create new organizations. Kohler referred to this behavior as insight or discovery learning. His theory suggested that the learning could occur when the individual perceives the relationships of these elements before him and reorganizes these elements and comes to greater understanding or insight. This could occur without reinforcement, and once it occurs, no review, training, or investigation is necessary. Significantly, insight is not necessarily observable by another person. Thus, concluded that intelligence and cognitive ability of an individual is essential for problem solving. There are four stages of insight learning. First, the preparation. The brain is immersed to new information. Second, reflection. It is reflecting about the new information. Third, the insight itself. It is the sudden realization. And lastly, verification. It is the testing of the insight. For us to fully understand the stages of insight learning, let us refer to the experiment of Kohler. The preparation stage in the experiment was when the chimpanzee was immersed in the environment wherein there are two boxes and a banana hanging above. The reflection stage starts when the chimpanzee stopped and think about the things around him. The insight stage occurs when the chimpanzee thought about the solution that it can do to get the banana. And the verification stage was when the chimpanzee tested the solution he figured out. Here are some of the possible applications of the experiment to a classroom setting. The experiment emphasizes that the learners should be given opportunities to use their own mental ability. This means that instead of telling a student on how to do work or solve a problem, the students should be placed into a position of an independent learner or what we call autonomous learning. He should himself collect information or discover the knowledge. The teacher should not engage in spoon feeding but rather help the students in acquiring knowledge and skills through their own attempts by using their own mental abilities. Another thing is that insight is helpful in developing higher mental skills. Therefore, learning by insight is helpful in developing students' mental processes like thinking, imagination, reasoning, conceptualizing, problem solving, and creativity. The teacher should motivate his students by provoking their interest and curiosity. The problem should be provided to the students as a whole, 
After that, students can perform it in parts by using their intelligence. Insightful learning made an important contribution in curriculum organization, planning the schedule for learning and teaching. And that is the theory of insight learning by Wolfgang.